Yeah man, so my purples, my number blessed beats. Do you remember these? VHS tape. Rather unique format for the 80s. They used to store several document on them. They also had these VHS recorders in which you could just pop these some in and have an amazing lo-fi sound. I'm gonna show you how to do that on the Machina today. This is kind of like the Lo-Fi Me My G, but dare I say, <laughs> a little bit better. Wow! The Lo-Fi Me My G is a little bit like a poor man's RC20, if you will, and a little bit more cassette vinyl. This plugin is brilliant. It's for VHS sound. Let us go! To be a little bit more specificalizationalizing, all this is is a machine plus adaptation of James Peck's VHS degradation suite. So we do owe it all to him. Note, you need Reactor 6 full version for this to work. Don't be disappointed. Put it on the SD card in the Native Instruments folder, User Content, Reactor, Ensembles. And you can put it right there or in a subfolder if you wish. Let's try it on a beat. <laughs> Hit browse, make sure that user tab is checked, head on over to reactor and browse down to VHS. There you shall have it. Let's load her up. And voila, we have a video cassette player in our machina. Let's give her a whirl. I'm gonna send this here beat over to the pad where I'm keeping the VHS effect. You can also use it as an insert effect, but I prefer like this. Certainly some cool effects there, especially the mic emulation. Let's try an original composition. Marai, I like that. Now to save on some CPU, I'm gonna record a couple of passes with these Humbox Tings through the VHS plugin 
and put some animations on them. First thing I'm going to do is route the signal from these two groups into the VHS plugin, which I have on a sound. We're going to head on over to the channel and send this whole Humbox group into the VHS pad. Same for both. Let's try and find a sweet spot. All right, we have us a severely juicy sound right about around now. You could, like I said, use it as an insert plugin. You can also automate it, but I'm just going to resample through it. Because getting it done, moving on, might as well. Arm this recording here in the sync mode so we can safe and soundly move on over and start when we're ready. We're rolling, manipulating the parameters. I'm going to do it with the other little chord thingy also with the humbox. Using slightly different settings like a different microphone and a microphone emulation to get the magnificent distribution in the sonic space, you know what I'm saying? As you can heard, much more narrow. Now I'm going to press Shift Browser and change both of these samples to audio modules instead so they're rolling in the background. We need to extend this pattern here, so hold down Pattern, change the pattern length to cover the whole shebang. Now it's time for some whiplash. <laughs> On this humbox track, we're gonna add a compressor to the group to get some side chaining going. Perchance on the kick, or why not the snare instead to get that drag in there, you know what I'm saying? I like it, but we do need some synthesizer bass. So I'm going to load up a mini school patch. Hmm. Yeah. Fave. Alright, I hope you take the opportunity to make 
some amazing music yourself with that VHS flavor, you know what I'm saying? Join us in the Discord, get that Humbox plug in. Come on, it's only big up the original creator of this ensemble. Okay, bye-bye.